CBB's Bedtime Story. Hi. My name's Jack. And I'm very excited because I've been asked to read you guys a bedtime story. All right. It's about a panda who is very excited, too, because his friends are coming around. And what could be better than that? It's going to be so much fun. It's called Pom Pom is Super, and it's by Sophie Hen. Are you ready to read? Then let's read. One morning, Pom Pom burst out of bed. He was full of the fidgets and feeling fantastic. <laughs> Pom Pom was excited, so excited, his feet did a little dance all on their own. Pom Pom's friends were coming around to play, and he couldn't wait. He got all his best toys ready and checked the cupboard for snacks. Ding dong, went the doorbell. They're here, yelled Pom Pom. Hello, buddy, said Pom Pom's mummy. Wrong, said buddy. Today I'm not just normal every day, buddy. Today I am... Buddy the Fantastic Footballing Flash! And he flashed his fantastic footballing feet all over the place. Ooh, said Pom Pom. You're a real proper superhero. Yes, said Buddy. Yes, I am. Ding dong, went the doorbell. Greetings. I am the Ant King, boomed Rocco as he burst through the door. And I'm Swooshing Scout the Spectacular, said Scout. I've got a cape and everything. Wow, wee, said Pom Pom. You are all ever so super. Ding dong, went the doorbell. Well, I just can't imagine who this will be, said Pom Pom's mummy. It's me, Twinkly Twirly Tornado Bear, said Baxter, as he twinkled and twirled. I think it's what I'm best at. And Pom Pom, Buddy, Scout, and Rocco had to agree. Come on, everyone. I got all the toys ready, said Pom Pom. Skipping first. Flash went, Buddy. Then spaceships. Swoosh went, Scout. Maybe some marbles. Twinkle went, Baxter. And dressing up for afters. Scurry went, Rocco. Oh, okay, said Pom Pom. Maybe you'd like a snack instead? Yes, please, said everyone. Being a superhero does make you very hungry, said Baxter. Does it? asked Pom Pom. I think I'd like to be a superhero, but I'm not sure I'm super at anything. Maybe I'm a super brilliant biscuit juggler, said Pom Pom. Oops! Or maybe I'm a super duper tidy upper. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to be super at that. Oh, I know. Lots of superheroes can fly, said Pom Pom. What if I can, too? That really would be super. Here I go. One, two, three, four. Whee! <sighs> oh, dear, said Pom Pom. Maybe I'm just not super at all. Hang on a tick, said Scout. You are really good at making very loud noises. And you are quite outstanding at hula hooping, said Rocco. Hey, don't forget, you're a terrific dancer, said Buddy. He's right, said Baxter. You got some fantastic moves. <laughs> really? asked Pom Pom. So that means I'm actually shouty hula disco Pom Pom. And everyone agreed that really was super. Yes! I'm so happy for Pom Pom. Because he discovered his super talents. Being loud and great at hula hooping and fantastic at dancing. Everyone has something that makes them super. And you know what that means. It means you do too! Maybe you can run really fast. Or absolutely shred on guitar like me. Or maybe you're amazing at kung fu. Those are my chop kicks. Whatever your talent, you are super in your own way, just like Pom Pom and his friends. Now, 
one thing that definitely, totally, 100% makes superpowers stronger is a good night's sleep. So go on. Off you go, up to bed, and in the morning, I just know that you're going to be the most amazing, incredible, super version of yourself that you can possibly be. It's going to be pandemonium, and I love it. Good night, Panda Pals. Mm.